John in Lebanon, New Hampshire. Always fascinating to me how so many cities in the United States are named after countries where obviously immigrants traveled to our country and then said, well, here I am in New Hampshire. <laughs> and just to keep things lively, I'm going to call it Lebanon. So <laughs> there's probably a lot of Lebanese people there, which is great. Good job. I'm not going to get going on that. Okay, I have a Velodyne servo sub from 1993 and a pair of Mirage Omni 250 speakers wired to it. Wow, Mirage, yeah, th those are Velodyne and Mirage. I think Velodyne's still around. Maybe Mirage is, I don't know. Um, the sub is wired to the receiver from the speaker outputs. My question is, should the caps in the subwoofer be replaced? Are the old capacitors in the subwoofer affecting the overall sound quality? Well. If it's 1993, my math is not that good, but that sounds like about 30 years. Um, yeah, you're going to want to change at least the electrolytics. And so I don't know the circuitry on the Velodyne, but electrolytic capacitors, just about any kind, are chemical compositions that over time and heat and use start to break down. They use an, it's, a, it's a kind of a paste inside. They're, they're, they're chemically constructed and those chemicals dry out over time. So it's gradual. Most people don't notice it, but if you can, at least in the power supply, replace those capacitors and I'll bet you'll get better sound quality. Now, Velodyne didn't make very expensive subwoofers back then, so I doubt that they used, like today, we, we would never use an electrolytic capacitor in, this, in the signal path. But I think, well, they were never very high end, so they probably did stuff like that, because it's a lot cheaper. And electrolytic's probably 20 cents compared to what we would use, which is a film cap, which is probably gonna be like five bucks, six bucks, something like that. Uh, if Well, actually, we would go direct in, <laughs> and maybe they did too, I don't know. But usually you're going to have some kind of filter on the input to that, and I would suspect that they probably use an electrolytic there. But if it's got a high input impedance, which hopefully it does, then there's a better than average chance that they used a smaller cap, in which case, hopefully, they would have used a film cap. The reason I bring that up is film caps, they don't really age that much. I wouldn't worry, I wouldn't replace a film cap, but any kind of electrolytic, you're going to want to replace it, okay? Thanks for the question. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.